morning students. I am Deshma, representing Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Kottiyam. In the last class, we have dealt with some basic definitions of graphical method and today we are going to discuss about the steps for solving the LPP by using graphical method. That is the steps for solving LPP by graphical method. Graphical method will be used. Graphic method will be used. We will LPP solve the solution. We will explain the steps. Next session, we will deal with the problem with examples. So, in this section, we will go to the steps. There are three main items. There are three steps. The first one is development of the LP model. The LP model is a linear programming model. We have learned the class in the first class. This is the mathematical formulation of LPP. What it meant is the mathematical formulation of LPP. LPP is a linear programming problem. The word problem is to convert it into a mathematical format. It is to convert it into a procedure. Develop the LP model. LP model is to convert it into a linear programming model. That means the mathematical formulation of LPP. That is our step. We have to convert the word problem. That is the LP model. The mathematical formulation is to convert it into a format. Convert here. And the second step, plot the constraints on the graph paper and decide the feasible region. <coughs> Pandai tu lah constraints. Ini ada kian. No, nama kita dua dua ni kolok constraints apa tu nak awalnya. Ah, pandai tu lah constraints. Ini ada kian. No, ah constraints ni, dia nak corresponding ayat, equations ni, graph paper lor, kita mula plotnya. No, apa ah, satu prosedur ni, kita tiga subsection ni include ni. First of all, we have to replace the inequalities in the constraints into equalities. Apa ini? Plotting, plot the constraints on the graph paper. Graph paper leh ke, ini constraints ni plot ni je iya, ini untuk desi kita. Apa dia? Kami lah ada je ini prosedur ni barang ini. Nama kita kalau leh constraints ni poh, mikir poh janda ni kem. Or inequality format leh ni, either less than or greater than. Alangkah, alam, esel leh esel ni barang ini equality mana? Inequality format leh ana, a constraints ni berindah inggil. A inequality ni ada yang just replace the inequality with the equality. Baru orang iste, anak tu, baru ada operation semua, nama kita ada ini ni lah. Jadi, inequality ada dalam mana, ah, relation nama kita ini, equality kau ni, replace ni. Jadi, inequality, inequality place ni, ni kau ni, matre kau ni, equation ni, equality nama kita kau ni. And that equality we have to do is the second step is we are constructing the straight lines by using this equation. So, we have to do the inequalities and the equalities. So, we have to do the straight lines. We have to do the equality of the straight lines. We have to do the straight lines and represent the equalities. So, the equalities and the equations we have to do the straight lines. Therefore, it is clear that there are as many many straight lines as that of the equations. So, how many constraints are there? How many number of straight lines are there? That corresponding to the graph paper. We have to plot the graph paper. The third step is to decide the feasible region. The feasible region is to replace the inequalities. That means that the inequalities are corresponding to the inequalities. The straight lines are constructed. That means that we decide the feasible region. What is the feasible region? The set of decision variables. The decision variables are values included. If you have a set, you can decide the feasible region. Therefore, we decide the feasible region. That about the second step. And what is the third step? Examine the extreme points of the feasible region that optimizes the objective function. Now, feasible region, now, feasible region, we have extreme points in the exam. Actually, this method we have adopted in the extreme point solution method. So, that's the value. Term ada untuk ni kira extreme points of the feasible region ni kira. Aduh, aduh, entah udah sih kira ni macam ni. Nama lu baru ni, feasible region nama lu decide ni kira ni. Nale, aku decide ni kira ni feasible region ni perlu ni poli kira ni kira. Nale, feasible region ni lu always represent ni poli ni poli kira ni kira perlu ni poli kira formula ni kira ni kira ni feasible region ni kira ni. So, we have to locate the extreme points or the vertices of the poly. Now, poly is the vertices in the end. We will locate it. That means, we will locate it. We will calculate it. We will calculate it. We will calculate it. That means, we have to 
calculate the value of the objective function corresponding to each coordinate. The oro vertex coordinate in corresponding atla objective function the values calculate. And thus we get the solution as that coordinate and optimizes the value of the objective function. That is, the coordinate in the value is the objective function is optimized. coordinate coordinate the solution. That is, examine the extreme point. That point is the solution. That is, examine the extreme points of the feasible region that optimizes the objective function. Objective function optimizes the value optimizing condition satisfied in the extreme points we can conclude that while the steps for solving there are three steps for solving LPP in a graphic model the first step is developing the LP model second step is plot the constraints on the graph paper and decide the feasible region and the third step is examine the extreme points in the feasible region so that it will optimize the objective function. So, this moon step will be main item, moon step in a corresponding item, subsectionism. This step will be based on the problems in the next session. That problem part daily. Thank you.